What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with an Oxygen OS 12 tip. So one of my favorite features that I've liked on the phone since I've had the OnePlus 3T is what they call scheduled power off and power on. So what this does is it'll turn your phone off at a certain time and turn it back on at a certain time. But for the longest time, it was a pretty generic thing where you could only set it to turn off and on and it would happen every day unless either one was turned off. But in poking around some of the settings, it turns out that they made an enhancement that I actually enjoy quite a bit in that you can now schedule the days that it happens. So what you'll do is as you see if you and I'll repeat that so you guys can check it out is when you go into settings, you'll scroll all, scroll all the way down, you'll go to system settings and then schedule power on and off and you can toggle the to um, be on and off if you want so if you know things change you're on vacation it turns out you don't want to use it anymore it's not a setting that has to be on or off um, as a fixed item then from here you can set the time for example for the auto power on for what time you want your phone to turn on and what ha when it actually will turn on so for me you can you know it's a good thing to have it set to turn off on days that you don't need things like your alarm or if there's no major life events going on so if you're not expecting anything urgent and I mean no one is really but in general if you notice that on you know Friday night and Saturday night you don't get too many calls or text messages you don't really need your phone or you know you want it your phone to turn off but then turn on in the morning before you wake up then you can set it for a specific day for me just to be on the safe side I have it set to turn on every day so for whatever reason let's say my phone dies or and I haven't actually tested that but I'm not sure like let's say your phone dies and you want it to turn on I assume it would turn on but um, just for whatever reason I want it to be turned on every day but for me um to, for my phone to turn off i actually only want it to turn off on friday night and saturday night because the rest of the days of the week i actually do need my alarm to turn on and with the phone off the alarm's not going to go off so i have the phone set to turn off at 11 55 p.m in general um asleep before then but um, if I do know that I'm going to be out and about on either night, then I do have to remember to go out, go back and turn this feature off. And then again, like much like the turn on feature, you'll go into um, the repeat function and you'll set the days that you want your phone to turn off. So for me, you can I want it to turn off on Friday night at 11:55 and Saturday night. Um, alternatively, if you want your phone to turn off, you know, for example, on um, Saturday morning at 1 a.m. and then turn back on at on Saturday at 6 a.m. then that's also a um, option so really it all depends on what your schedule is like and um, what you want to do but this feature is one of those features that's actually super nifty just because if you want to have your phone kind of feel refreshed uh, you use your phone you know all day every day and you kind of want to give it a soft reset where you know you give your Wi-Fi a break your screen a break a little bit and kind of just not have your phone using resources regularly then the scheduled power on and off is a good feature to use um, and it also and it also relies on not necessarily using your alarm all the time so let's say you do have an external device for your alarm to wake you up in the morning so whether you have just a regular clock a smart device like a um, the Apple whatever the Apple devices are and Alexa or, or an Echo device or a Google Home device and you use one of those then you can really set this feature to turn on every day like turn your phone off every day at a specific time you know after you go to sleep and then turn it back on before you're scheduled to wake up uh, one of the things to notice is if you do have a lock screen set with a security option so you know a pin code or a pattern code or whatever then you will have to log back in so that your phone will start um, finish its boot sequence and start uh, allowing you know phone calls and text messages and emails and all your various notifications to come back in again so you will notice that once you first turn on your phone you will have to wait a couple of minutes depending on how new or powerful your phone is if you're of course using this one plus nine pro or android 12 i would recommend waiting about two to five minutes so you know essentially when you wake up log back into your um, device go out get ready make coffee or whatever by the time you get back your phone will be good to go 
um so in general like for me i say two to five minutes i mean not necessarily longer the better but essentially you can go out and do other stuff while your phone boots up but it's not, it's really a few minutes that you have to wait just to allow you know the boot sequence to start in uh, various apps to load if their stuff showing up starting up in the background um the sync process has um, happened just because your phone's been off all night so everything now has to refresh so those initial um few minutes are very key there so I kind of wanted just to just share that feature um, it's not something that I see as something that is talked about um, a lot but it is a feature that I have enjoyed on the OnePlus devices since the OnePlus 3T so that's all there is for this particular review I just wanted to give that um, re that update um, share my thoughts and what I use it for and just uh, share a feature of the OnePlus 9 Pro that um, I don't see a lot of people talking about so that's all there is for this particular review so if you have any questions comments feedback or anything like that you can comment on this post on YouTube at youtube.com slash Patel N01 where this video is shared and hosted along with all other reviews and gameplay videos and all that or you can comment on this post on Twitter at Patel N01 and of course the website is headphonesneal.reviews for past episodes subscription links supporting the show and all of that good stuff but thanks for tuning into this particular episode and until next time.